If you are not trying to be better every single day, what are you doing? And if your answer to that question is, I don't know, let me tell you what you're doing. You're wasting your life. And I'm not apologizing if that hits you pretty hard because maybe you don't know where to start. Maybe you don't know what to do. Maybe you're thinking, it's too hard. I can't do it. Well, you can do it, and I'm gonna help you out by giving you 10 easy ways to be better every single day. I'm Brian Sakawa, you are watching He Spoke Style, and on this channel, I give you the advice and inspiration you need to dress better, develop your personal style, and gain more confidence. All right, starting off here. So the number one thing I think that can prevent you from being better every single day might be a little tricky and difficult to navigate because it will require you to make a huge shift in your life and how you move through it. In fact, I will go so far as to say that it may be one of the most difficult things you'll ever have to do. If you have toxic people and toxic relationships in your life, now is the time to remove them. Get rid of toxic people because they bring you down and keep you from being better. In many cases, these kinds of people don't want you to succeed. And what kind of friend is that? Now, I said it could be difficult because a lot of times, you know, these are people that have been in our lives for a very long time. Maybe you grew up with this person, but if that's a toxic relationship and that person brings you down and doesn't make you feel good about yourself, the relief you will feel getting rid of this relationship will far outweigh any comfort you feel just because you've known this person your whole life. Trust me. The next thing you can do to be better every single day requires you to stop for a second and think. Think about what it is that you want and visualize your goals. This type of visualization is important. I know that it works because I do it myself, but I didn't know why it worked, so I looked it up. Basically, what you are doing in the process of visualization is that you are training your subconscious to be aware of that end goal that you have in mind. And if you do that, what happens is your subconscious reminds you consistently about that goal. And, and here's where it gets really cool because that then trains your brain to respond as if that outcome were true in the present moment, right now. Listen, we live in a ridiculously fast-paced society with constant information, lots of interruptions, distractions, so the hardest thing here is going to be making time to stop, slow down, clear your head, and visualize your goals. And I'm not saying you've got to block off like an hour every single day to do this. Just start with every morning. Take five minutes, max, and do this. It's time well spent wiring your brain for success. So the idea of stopping and taking time actually flows really nicely into the next thing you can do every day to be better because what happens when we just get caught up in that whirlpool of everything going on around us is that we just start wasting time. How many times, be honest now, how many times have you picked up your phone, started scrolling, opened and closed the same app like three times in a row, and then like 45 minutes later, you're like, what just happened all that time? And I like literally have absolutely no idea what I just did and nothing to show for it. It is so easy to fall into that trap and wasting time like that takes you away from being better and accomplishing your goals. So what can you do? Do things with intention. So if you decide, this is the thing I'm gonna do, do that and nothing else. Where I find myself falling into that unproductive, circular, time-wasting loop is when I'm sitting at my computer with like 10 to 15 tabs open in my browser, all competing for my attention. So if there's something I really have to do, like focus on writing, editing, giving feedback for a video, I'll open a new browser window with just one tab so there's nothing else distracting me. I mean, it sounds like so easy when I say it like that, but it does take effort. And I always get way more done when I focus and stop wasting time. Now, the whole time wasting thing as I described it, what that is, is a bad habit. It is an unproductive routine. And if there's one thing that's true about bad habits and unproductive routines, it's that they're easy to fall into and very hard to break. But in order to be better every day, you need to develop productive routines. 
And the specific routine I want to focus on here is one that has tons of power to influence how you feel, how you see yourself, how other people see you, and one that has incredible short-term and long-term benefits. Now, what I find kind of fascinating is that bad habits are easy to fall into, but good habits and good routines can sometimes be more difficult to develop because it often feels like they take more effort. And developing a good skincare routine can often feel like that, but that's why I'm proud to partner with Tish Hanley, today's video sponsor, because they make getting into this productive routine so easy. When that box comes in the mail and you open it up, the thing you immediately see is a card with some information on it. And I love this card. It tells me what I need to do, when I need to do it, and how much of the product to use. Now, which products do you actually need to get started? So if T. Shanley is new to you, I would recommend starting with their basic plan, which gives you all the important basics and essentials. So we're talking a face cleanser, an exfoliating scrub, an AM moisturizer with SPF that helps protect your skin against the sun throughout the day, and also a PM moisturizer, which is important for the repair process that happens while you're sleeping. Personally, I do like to add in a couple other products to my routine as well, so that's why I really like Tija's Level 3 system, which includes a firming serum and an eye cream. In addition to great skin, when you join Tige, you get tons of perks, including at least 20% off the retail price, the ability to customize your box, shipping reminders, pause or cancel at any time, no hassle refunds, and free U.S. shipping, and low-cost shipping to most other countries. And because Tiege Hanley is sponsoring today's video, they're offering you guys a great deal. Just click the first link in the description, and not only will you get Tiege Hanley for the best possible price, but they'll also throw in a free gift with your first box. Click that link to get started for just $30. Okay, so of the many things that can cause stress in your life and prevent you from being better, I think money and financial doubt is kind of at the top of that list. If you're not in a good position, it can contribute to insecurity, lack of self-worth, and maybe even depression. And all of those things are very difficult to overcome. Now, everyone has different financial situations, but I think regardless of where you are, that you should make a plan to save money and be disciplined about it. I think back to times in my life when I wasn't particularly financially stable, and those were some of the darkest times for me. Do not underestimate the power that financial security or independence or having that safety net can have on your ability to improve yourself. So talk with someone, get online and do some reading and start making a plan to save that fits within your budget. Now we just talked about saving money, but the next thing that can help you be better is giving money. Donating has incredibly positive effects and I'm not just making this up because there are studies that prove it and here are five ways that giving makes us better. Number one, giving makes us happy. So if you don't believe it, there was a Harvard Business School study that found that giving money to someone else lifted participants' happiness more than if they spent it on themselves. And a study from the NIH found that when people give to charities, it activates regions of the brain associated with pleasure, social connection, and trust, creating a warm glow effect. Who doesn't wanna have a warm glow? Number two, Giving is good for your health. So there's been a wide range of research that links generosity to better health and decreased stress. Number three, giving promotes cooperation and social connectedness. So basically when you give, you are likely to be rewarded more in the future and that trust you create is central to both mental and physical health. Number four, giving evokes gratitude. And research has found that gratitude is one of the keys to health happiness, and strong social bonds. When you express gratitude, you boost your own positivity and others' positivity as well. And number five, giving is contagious. When you give, it inspires others to do the same, and all those good feelings have a halo effect. And the last thing I'll say about giving as a way to be better is that you don't have to give a lot to make a big difference. Now, if you're not able to give money, what I would encourage you to do as a different way to be better is to give some of your time to be a mentor to someone. This is probably one of the most important things you can spend your time doing. It's a form of giving back. It gives you a new perspective. It gives you a deeper appreciation for your own value and worth and what you have to offer. It helps improve your communication skills and develop leadership skills. I personally volunteer as a mentor for the Empire State Youth Orchestra's Young Leader Program. So 
I was in this youth orchestra when I was in high school. It had a big impact on my life. And I gotta tell you, it feels great to give back to an organization like that and inspire the next generation. Now you can't be better every day if you don't have energy and you're not well rested. If feeling tired throughout the day is a problem you have and it impacts your ability to be your best, you are gonna to wanna to improve your sleep habits. Now, what are some things you can do to improve that? First is to stick to a schedule. You get in a rhythm, your body likes it, good things happen. Second, pay attention to what you eat and drink. Don't eat a big meal before bed, don't drink too much. Both of these things will affect the quality of your sleep. Third, create a restful environment free of distractions. Don't watch TV in bed. Put the phone down. Instead, read a book or just lay there in silence. Fourth, manage your stress. And one of the easiest ways to get rid of some of that stress is to get organized. Put things away, plan out some things for the next day, and then forget about it. And fifth is to include some type of physical activity throughout the day. If your body's working, you'll have more of the right kind of tired and you will sleep better. And speaking of physical activity, not only will it help improve your sleep habits, but it is also a way to be better every day. Now we often talk about the benefits of fitness on physical health. It's pretty self-explanatory. What I wanna talk about are the benefits that fitness has on your mental health. In addition to better sleep, which has its own positive mental effects, exercise can contribute to sharper mental thinking, increased self-confidence, more energy, and stronger resilience. It can also help fight depression, lower stress, and decrease anxiety. I don't know about you, but all of those things sound pretty good when you're talking about trying to be better every single day. The last thing you can do to be better every single day is to be in a certain mindset. Thinking positively is incredibly powerful. Think about it. If you tell yourself that you can't do something, if you believe that you can't do something, well, guess what? Chances are it's not gonna happen. But if you think positively and believe in yourself, the potential for success increases exponentially. Now, if this kind of thinking doesn't come naturally to you, to get yourself on a path to thinking more positively, go back and review everything that we've just talked about in this video. But especially the first thing, removing toxic people from your life. If you wanna begin thinking more positively, surround yourself with positive people. It will motivate you, it will inspire you, and the energy you will feel will help you be better every day. Thanks once again to Tiege Hanley for sponsoring this video and reminder to click the link down below in the description to give Tiege a try for yourself and receive a free gift with your first box.